Greetings, everybody, and welcome to another MCU series review of Phase 3 here on the Media Files. That's right. We've only gone through three movies. we still got a buttload left to deal with. So let's just get right into it. So we went through a whole bunch of weird, strange stuff with Doctor Strange. We had, you know, basically, you know, a big versus battle with, you know, basically everybody fighting over you know, who's right and who's wrong and that type of thing. Then we had our weird, you know, outcasts out on another adventure. But, however, that one character made a small little appearance in Civil War and basically got his own movie because of the popularity of it. I'm, of course, talking about the return of everybody's favorite uh, wall crawler, Spider-Man, in Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh, man, this movie is awesome. Now, unfortunately, there's a tease right there with him and Iron Man. That shot was made just for the trailer and for the marketing. Uh, that actually doesn't really happen in the movie when they go off together. It's not there. I'm getting that out straight out of the way right now. However, though, they say it's the best Spider-Man ever. Five stars. It's pretty good. I thought it was really, really good. And the actor that they got to portray Spider-Man, they got him right. And so, yeah, that was, which is kind of cool because it looks like he's sitting upside down. But what's cool about it is you, you can even flip it around. It looks like he's sitting right up, which is actually kind of neat. So we have actor Tom Holland portraying Spider-Man slash Peter Parker this time around. And what can I say? Perfect casting choice, you know, for an even younger version of Spider-Man. And look, we actually have Discard. Spider-Man's mask. So... But not only that, though, um, you know, Robert Downey Jr. comes back. But we finally get introduced to who was supposed to be the original Spider-Man 4 villain for Tobey Maguire, the Vulture, played by none other than, well, Batman himself, Michael Keaton. Yes, Batman plays a villain in this movie. And it is awesome. It is creepy as hell as a dark character. I'm like, like, Man, I would want to be your guy, your dad. <laughs> I would want to hang around with your dad. You know why? Because I'm Batman. That's right. You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. <laughs> and I would really wish you would have said that in the movie. That would have been awesome. But, um, yeah, so but Michael Chiquito comes back as the composer. Um, it, amazing, amazing Spider-Man score. Really, 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 really well done. And they kind of flip stuff around a little bit this time around um so john favreau returns um i forgot to mention that john favreau was in the original iron man movie who played happy hogan uh tony stark's little uh his secret service agent type of guy head of security but not only that though you have um amazing actress marissa tomei playing uh aunt may and then you have actress zendaya portraying the character of MJ. It's not Mary Jane. I'll tell you that right now. It's not Mary Jane Watson. It's MJ. Completely different character. You'll see why. But, so yeah, let's get through the bonus features here real fast. We have 10 deleted and extended scenes, a cast gag reel, the Spidey Study Guide, a pop-up factoid track. I hate those, by the way. That's just dumb. Unseen alternate Captain America PSAs. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Aftermath. The filmmakers bridge the gap for the Battle of New York. Yep. That's pretty cool. A Tangled Web Spider-Man's Integration uh, into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And more. So, yeah. So, uh, this time is directed by John Watts. Uh, who basically, we, I, we had no idea who he was. But he, bring, he brings an amazing, amazing Spider-Man movie. So what can I say? That's about all I really know him from anyways. So great movie. Great start off to the return of Spidey. Perfect cast of choice. It's really, really good. And it's up there. So with that, uh, we still got quite a bit more to go. So with that, uh, I will leave you here with that. Remember to please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. And with that, I'll see you in the next MCU Phase 3 update.